Okay, uh, recording started. Okay, good. It's recording. Uh. Right, so then later I'll try to post the recorded session so that you all can also uh, make reference. Uh. Okay. Yeah, so uh, yes. And besides that, uh, okay, I also want to share that I, I also have a YouTube channel. I'm not sure, maybe uh, some of you in my class one, you all probably would know. Uh. Okay, I actually got the YouTube channel. Uh, Okay, that I have created, which I'm going to briefly share with you. Okay, if you go to uh, YouTube, I'm, I will share the link with you, uh, at, by the way. But for the other group, the T1, I think you already know. Eh? Okay, so maybe I quickly share uh, okay, my YouTube. Uh, if you if you look, look for, let's say, okay, maybe you if you are the Google, right? Okay, you look for my 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 YouTube link is actually quite easy to remember. Uh, it's YouTube, right? Uh, you all can write down uh, if you all need to. Eh? Okay, feel free. Uh. My username, my YouTube link is this channel. Uh, very easy. Eh? If I zoom in for you, can you all see? Uh, this is my YouTube link. Yeah, so www.youtube.com slash c uh. C okay then uh, slash Alex C uh, one one word okay so that is my YouTube link so if you click on this you will bring you to my YouTube channel okay I have uh, yeah okay you can see over here I have the video playlist for the this uh, module D as I for my topic lah, huh? for my own uh, topic eh. so I have quite a few you can look up uh, let's say D E S I S lah. Yeah, okay, so basically I have my sessions of the past video series all recorded. Uh, but uh, that was previously recorded in class I block 56. Uh, okay, but to be honest, the content has not deviated or changed very much. Okay, so in a way it's pretty good, I think. Let's say you can, let's say, uh, go to look for, let's say, let's say this particular video, uh, let's say, uh, then you have the, all the playlists. Eh. Okay. Uh, Y'all may not hear the audio uh, by the by the way. I can uh, I need to set turn on the audio. Okay, so something like this, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, can you all hear the audio uh, by the way? Hello. Cannot right? No audio right? Okay, okay. Sorry. I think I need to set something in the uh, uh what do you call that? In the uh, the zoom uh, in order to hear. Hello, can you hear me? Still no sound at the... No, no sound, but you can hear from the YouTube. Sound from can, the can network, hear you. But you can still hear my audio, la, my, what yeah. I say. Can I? Okay, yeah, but yeah. I, think, I think I need to set something. I, I don't know how to... I don't remember how to uh, set the... At the share screen, the, the moment you press share screen, there is a button to increase system sound, if I'm not wrong. Share screen, uh, oh, okay. Oh, include the oh yeah, music or computer sound, right? Something like that. Okay, maybe yeah. Okay, how about now? Okay, never mind. Uh. Can, okay, yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, never mind. I I end the screen share, but I'm gonna put it back again. The one I need to figure out uh, how to share the the computer sound. Uh. Okay, sometimes they one still learning ah. Uh, this zoom. Eh. Okay, never mind. So this is the part on the YouTube part uh, If you want to uh to catch up uh, to on the YouTube part, there is the YouTube session also. Okay, so just to share on that part. Eh. Okay, but I can share uh via a link uh, if you want how to come to the YouTube. Eh. 
okay, which I find that is quite useful uh, because they have, I went through the, some of the things like the lecture uh, and also the tutorial question that I worked out uh, on the whiteboard. Eh. So you can see I scribble things and write and try to explain it. Okay, so with that, I think we'll come back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so y'all can see my PowerPoint. Huh? Okay, uh, I think occasionally y'all can uh, have some, uh, y'all can do some chat also, uh, but be quite challenging uh, have to manage the chat room also. Uh, so called. if y'all got something you want to uh, say, uh, uh, okay, we will try to manage. Uh, okay, but uh, I have to continue the lecture first. Uh. Okay, I think nobody else is in the waiting area. Okay, I don't see anybody else. I think we can continue. Eh? They still got a few. Uh, Fikri is still waiting. Ah, still waiting. Ah, okay, yeah. I really let him come out. Come in, ready. Okay, if you know of anybody still waiting, on I think should shouldn't be ah, shouldn't be ready for now. Okay. Uh, no, uh, okay, uh, one question, I'm looking at the chat, chat box there. Uh. So, a uh, question by one of your, your friend there, uh, Clarence, right? They're saying that the, is the, the video, right, open, the YouTube video open to public? Yes, it's open to public. Eh? Okay, so it's uh, in the public domain. Okay, so anybody can see it. Eh? Just to answer the question uh, in the in the chat, uh. okay. You also can turn on the chat. Uh. In, in along the way, you all want to feel free. You want to ask some questions. You can pop in the chat. Okay, I try to uh, respond to you, uh. Okay, but at the same time, I have to do the lecturing also, uh. So if I'm a bit slow, uh, seek your patience a bit, uh. Okay, yeah. So uh, okay. For uh, the other question, quick one was uh. Uh, question again from Clarence. Uh, is it topic 5A for the, is it, I think you're referring to the video. In fact, it's all my video. Uh, okay, my all. Okay, all of my uh, video recording. Uh, okay, is in the YouTube. Eh. Okay, uh, in uh, YouTube. I'll just type something here. Okay, all my uh, past video recordings are available in YouTube and it's in the public domain. All right, anybody can access. So no need to log in or anything. You just need to know my uh, YouTube link. Okay, YouTube is quite easy to remember, eh, I think. Right, it's uh, www.youtube.com slash c slash alexi. Okay, I put in the chat already. So the link is also can be seen inside the chat, eh, the YouTube. It may, it may be worthwhile to copy down the link. Eh. Okay, copy down or bookmark the link eh, so that you, in case you want to have access, it is there. Because a lot of my explanation of the things all is inside. Eh. Uh, a good example would be things like uh, in the past, uh, uh, I also do a uh, work solution uh, for the like uh, past exam papers. Eh. Okay, so I basically uh, have a system that I record in classroom. Uh. Those classroom mainly I think is in block 56. Uh in the Nian, uh, Box 50. You all remember that uh, Box 56? Eh? So we used the, I used the whiteboard, then uh, it explained through uh, the whiteboard and the uh, marker pen. Uh, so basically I explain and I record it. Eh? Okay, so I think maybe that could be quite useful. Uh, I believe eh? most of the students say that eh, maybe they benefit from it. Eh? Okay, so let's move on. Uh. Now today, topic, topic 5A, uh, okay, we will talk about, uh, okay, that's me. Uh. Okay, that's a photo of me. That's my, my email and my uh, uh, number, office number. But don't call my office. Uh, no point because we are now still not back in campus. Eh. Uh, you can only text me. Okay, so you can WhatsApp me eh, if you need uh, anything to ask. Uh. Okay, WhatsApp me. Don't call office number. No, I won't be there because of the COVID. Uh. We are still not allowed to go back to campus. Uh, okay, uh, for your info. Alright, so for my part, I will be covering topic 5, 6, and 7. But mainly the very large topic is uh, 5. Uh, topic 5 got two parts, uh, uh, 5A and 5, uh, 5B, and then topic 6, okay? 
Uh, seven, I would say that is more uh, for general knowledge. Uh. Okay, so for you, for your case, uh, if you ask me, right, uh, so the main part will be topic five and six eh, for the your so-called your end of semester common test. Uh, you have uh, content that will be tested on topic five and six. Eh. All right. So, yeah. So I'm going to start off by uh, just mentioning briefly on the very uh, overview of some of the, the measurement system. But basically, topic five, the beginning part is quite theory. Uh, okay, and uh, don't be a bit patient first because I know some of you prefer to do a uh, question or a lot of calculations, right? Uh, that one, we will we'll reserve it for uh, topic six. Eh. Okay, topic six got a lot of calculation uh, type of question. For example, we look at things like uh, op amps okay I, I hope you all remember mr chan also got to do some uh, operational amplifier right with you all right uh, okay and also it's, i think it's a sort of a revision uh. then uh, also we will in my topic i will also be covering this thing called the analog to digital converter and also uh, the opposite also we have called the dac digital to analog converter eh. okay so those are the key things that you want to take note eh. Okay, and very important. Eh? Now, so maybe these are the things I want to talk through today. Maybe uh, may not have, uh, because it's only the first lecture, so-called, right? Maybe I would uh, stop later on up to maybe about the filter part. Nah. We see how it goes nah, for time. Eh? So what's the time now? 8.20, yeah? 8.25. Okay, so uh, now I think show you some pictures to begin with. I think you all have... Uh, already uh, we are all this together right okay so you can see that sensors are getting very very important eh? so i've just updated some of the slides and some put in some new pictures right so sensors uh, why we study sensors uh, sensors are very important uh, topic all right in uh, many areas eh? okay you can be maybe some of you are in the semiconductor or you could be uh, engineer or, or technicians working in the Singapore power or some of you I know heard that you are working in the pharmaceutical uh, 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 what do you call that production plant right where you are maintaining the cooling system or something yeah. okay in the chiller system or something and, but anyway in all cases right wherever you are right you will be you will find sensors that are used eh, very often in fact I show you one picture here that you see on the, the slides huh? Uh, yeah, there's this uh, picture of, uh, of course, the this COVID-19 uh, is quite uh, giving us a lot of uh, inconvenience right, and a lot of uh, health hazard uh, for, for now. Right? So many people have yeah, been infected uh, in, around the world, right? And then what I show you on the picture that you can see over there is uh, one of the life support the system, uh, the ventilator. Uh, this one is in big demand now, uh, right? Especially in Europe side. Uh. Okay, so these are all the equipment, but all these equipment requires uh, some kind of a sensors, uh, right? So on the left, on your left hand side, you see the smart robot, right? Robots are becoming more and more important also because of the automation. Uh. Yeah, I think Singapore government also now pumping a lot of money into the automation. Eh. Now, what I don't have a picture to show you is that I'm not sure if you saw on the news they got this uh, robot that has four legs one eh? look like a like a robot like a dog like that right uh, the, one, the one used for social distancing eh? the, that robot eh? and they use by N parks or NEA eh? they, they deploy them at the parks ah, that they has uh, this robot that can like walk I mean like uh, like like a walking robot ro robot like that eh? with four legs ah? then they build in the camera eh? so basically the camera itself is a sensor eh? okay and so on eh? all right so now there are other types of many many other types of sensors being used so it could be from domestic systems to uh, commercial or even ranging from you know up to the military type eh, where you have things like drones and what have you eh. all right so these are the other types now this is another picture which i share i just took it uh, online also uh, today okay this is a picture that you you probably have heard the news also right is in the US right now. They got this uh, uh, big massive uh, protest, uh, protest by the black, right? So called the Black Lives Matter, right? So lately there was this guy 
one uh, African American uh, George Floyd, I think. Yeah, so he was uh, killed right by the police, eh, the white police, so called. So then it resulted in this uh, massive protest. Uh. So what I'm showing you this picture is that uh, I think the the picture of this was taken from a flying drone. Uh. Okay, flying drone used by the police force eh, in US. Uh. So the, the the sensor part in this case will be the camera. Uh. Okay, so the drone is flying with a camera. So the camera itself is a sensor. Eh. Okay, now, so you can see that sensors are very important in um, in our day-to-day -day lives. Eh. So be it, uh, it can be, as you can see in this picture here, it could be in a car, right? Yeah, the uh, car with the airbag. Okay, uh, that, that, that requires a sensor. Eh. To, in order to activate the airbag, uh, you need to have the sensor, eh, right, to detect. Uh, when there's an uh, incident or accident eh, and uh, the deployment of the airbag will take, take, uh, take effect. Uh. Okay, now other things will be things like uh, the uh, healthcare. Hey, uh, can you still hear me? Uh? Okay, sometimes uh, doing this uh, online teaching is not easy uh, because to me it's like, okay, good, uh, y'all can still hear me. Okay, I'm, I'm like kind of talking to the, my room right, in the wall. <laughs> okay, and I shut the door then I'm alone and I'm talking. Uh, so, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, occasionally, good to, uh, for y'all to uh, maybe just drop some uh, small text uh, so that I, I notice that I will notice that the, I'm still uh, keeping engaged with y'all. Eh. Okay, thanks. Thanks for replying. Uh. All right, so uh, now other, other types of sensors will be things like, uh, you know, the glucose meter and all these. Eh? So these are the different types of uh, a, a myriad of sensors uh, that are being used, okay, by uh, every day. Uh, every day you can, you can tell me, I mean, that you, you can find sensors almost everywhere. So uh, basically, uh, sensors are uh, a type of... Uh, what we call um, a device that will be able to convert, uh, so called. Basically, the idea of sensor is that it converts uh, physical physical quantity or physical phenomenon, uh, okay, which are non electrical in nature. So you must understand it. Eh? Okay, for example, I give you an example. If you are measuring the temperature of this room or your room, right? Okay, the temperature is measured in a different unit as we know it, right? It's a temperature, it could be in de measured in degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, and so on, right? But that, that temperature that you measure is a physical phenomenon, okay? Something physical and it's non-electrical, so remember. So you measure temperature, okay, I measure in units of degree Celsius, right? So of course, I, uh, as, as we are uh, engineers or electrical engineers, so-called, we, we cannot, uh, we, we, we need to convert that, the physical phenomena, right, like the temperature and degree Celsius into some electrical signals like where we can measure, right, and then uh, uh, do a measurement, we do the data conversion and then maybe use a data acquisition and to collect the data, okay, but does that signal must be an electrical signal, okay, as per se, yeah. as you can see over here, right, I in my slides here, so we need to measure the electrical output eh, of the sensor, usually uh, voltage, current, or resistance. Ah. Okay. So, uh, all right. So we will require uh, a device called data acquisition to be able to connect to these sensors to take out the reading and then convert it into an electrical signal. Use the electrical signal. Okay, and then we can process it eh, and so on. Right, so some general uh, block diagram of a measurement system that you can see. So if you look at this picture here, uh, starting from the left hand side, okay, so you got the input, right? The input side refers, is connected maybe to this sensing element. Uh. So basically it could be a sensor, it could be a temperature sensor, maybe a thermocouple or other types. Uh. There are so many sensors that is being, that's made available uh, for us to use it, All right? So uh, the sensor will then convert that, that physical phenomena, okay? Uh, it could be, as I say, it, sorry, uh, there was a question. The audio quality not good. Uh. Oh. 
uh, I increase a bit. Uh. Is it better? Uh, the audio quality, can you all still hear me? And, uh, oh, is it too soft or what? Eh? Sorry, uh, uh, somebody commented. Can now. Uh, Loud and clear. Okay, good. Uh. Thank you very much. So, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we carry on. Uh. Okay, we can carry on. Uh. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. All right. So, uh, basically, uh, the, the output of the electrical signal usually needs to be signal conditioned. Uh. Okay, you need to condition the signal. Okay, before then you can continue to process it. Because sometimes um, the signals output from the sensors could be very weak. Eh? So you need to, for example, use things like amplifier, right? You know, you all learn op amps, right? Op operation amplifier. So you need to amplify the signal or filter or and so on. Eh? Okay, there are different types of uh, signal conditioning uh, circuitry that we will use uh, in the course uh, of this study. Uh. All right. So we will process then before finally we can do the presentation. Uh, you can present the data. Okay, these are just a very general, generic uh, explanation. Uh. Uh, I got one interesting picture here. I'll show you in a moment. Okay, maybe I'll start with this one. Eh. Now, any of you have seen this kind of things in the... Oops, still got people coming. Okay, now I let him come in. Uh. Okay, have you all seen any of these things here? Yeah, uh, seen before? Yeah, solar panel, thank you. Eh. Solar, besides that, eh, what's that? What is this solar panel doing? Eh? Yeah, yes, uh, I think many of you have uh, seen this. Eh. But do you notice uh, if, you, if you see... Oops. Uh, somebody, okay. Mr. Chen, uh, I, have, I might have to... Uh, sorry, uh, if I don't mind, I mute you first. Uh. Okay, thank you. Unless, okay, can. Okay, I'll be continue. Uh, yes. So basically, right, uh, yes, you are right. Many of you have seen this, and many of you say uh, very correct answers uh, that I see here. You see a uh, solar panel. Okay, but what is more interesting is beside the solar panel, uh, what is inside the box? Eh? <laughs> okay, what, what is more interesting is what is uh, inside the box. Uh? Okay, any guesses? What do you think is inside the box? Eh? And beside that, right? Yeah, of course, the answer is kind of at the bottom there already. Uh, I already uh, sort of let a bit of the answer being reviewed. Eh? As you can see over here, right? Uh, basically, uh, this one are installed by the yeah, water level, you're yeah, right. Eh? Okay, it's installed by PUB's uh, subcontractor. Okay, or they are, they are system integrator. Eh? System integrator, okay, I'm going to just type something there. System integrator that for PUB. Eh? So basically, these are the water level detection sensors. Yeah. Okay, with, uh, if you observe even closer, okay, if I zoom in a little bit for you, if you see my zoom in a bit, uh, you, so, you notice there's an antenna. Eh? Uh, okay, there is a 3G uh, wireless antenna. You see carefully, I zoom in for you, right? Yeah, if you see even closer, just now you saw the close-up. Uh, there's actually, yeah, it is an instrumentation system uh, to detect the water level. Water, for water level sensing at the canal. Uh. Okay, this one is along the Dunnan Road. Uh. Okay, so there's even the 3G uh, wireless, wireless router. I don't know whether it's called a wireless router or something. But basically, the idea is to uh, uh, send real-time signal back to the, the station, base station uh, for PUB to monitor the water level. Okay, so the idea is that it's sort of uh, what we call uh, sensing and remote telemetry. Uh. Quite a lot of applications are quite interesting as well. Right? Okay, so uh, you can see over here. Now, let's move on a bit. Okay, now a bit of a... Uh, Overview, la, basically some more overview, okay, uh, at this moment. So uh, just take note first, huh? do take, take some notes. Eh. 
at the end of the lesson, I got one Kahoot quiz. Uh, so maybe you all can pay attention. Uh, later, we all play this Kahoot quiz uh, together, okay? Right, later on. Eh. Okay, so you all maybe take, take some notes. Uh. Okay, so uh, now, of course, uh, you can see uh, this is a more detailed view of the a typical measurement system. Now, I for myself, uh, just to share, I didn't share my background. I, I used to work for uh, under the MINDEF umbrella. We, I work for this uh, organization called uh, DSO National Lab. Uh, so it's under Ministry of Defense. Uh, so basically, we do uh, R&D research. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, yeah, so but I was mainly working in the uh, underwater systems are. so we look at things like sonar and stuff right, right? if you know what those are uh, underwater uh, you know those kind of things like submarines and stuff right? okay so that, that was my previous job uh, okay so uh, we we, de we design several of these um, measurement systems eh? they're quite common eh? so we will put things like hydrophones and stuff uh, when you put inside the water right yeah so you can detect uh, signals are uh, from the water eh? okay and so on so a very common type of uh, things that we do so measurement systems right as you can see over here so very typically you have uh, a measurement system uh, has things like amplifiers uh, a to d converters uh, these are the things that we will be studying um, a lot more detail eh? okay uh, as we go along eh? all right and of course, I, I hope you guys are also uh, sort of enjoying yourself for the lab, uh, I hope. Eh? The lab view uh, thing that you are doing, right, called the lab view or the data acquisition. I hope you all find it quite, uh, hopefully, easy, quite easy to use so far. Okay, because uh, that lab view is quite a powerful industrial grade software. Oops. Okay. All right, so, uh, okay, let's move on. Huh? Okay, now, uh, moving on. Okay, so we talk about uh, implementation. Huh? Okay, now, also, if you recall, we, uh, in your labs, we also started to do learn this thing called virtual instruments, uh, which is the case, is the lab view. Huh? All right, it's a very powerful uh, software where you can allow you to customize your uh, system Right, and then you can display also the data. Eh? Okay, that's why it's called a virtual instrument. You can uh, literally uh, display your signals output uh, that you want to see. Eh? All right, so you will require, uh, you will need sensors, you need data acquisition, and you can run it on a, a, a either a computer, a laptop, or even an industrial computer. Okay, so all these can be done. Eh? Now, uh, okay, what I, what I can't show you, I still trying to figure out uh, the Zoom, uh, how to play the audio. If not, actually, I got some very interesting uh, YouTube video I can share with you. Eh. But I still thinking of the part how to play the, the audio. Uh. So uh, and then, until I figure out that one, uh, I still haven't figured out that one. Uh. Okay, but I will try. Okay, but never mind. Uh, okay, so... Now, okay, I want to quickly mention mention a few more slides. Okay, sorry about the you need your patience, uh, because this part here is still a bit theoretical. Okay, still a little bit theory. The calculation parts are at the back. Uh. Okay, so uh, please bear with me first. Uh. So uh, there is a difference between uh, sensor and transducer. Okay, I think maybe I want to show you uh, this slide. Uh. You all have the you all have a copy of these slides, uh, by the way. I forgot to ask, uh, sorry. You all know where to find these slides. Okay, the the slides, okay, the slide decks are uh, the slide decks, okay, are available in uh, Polymore. Yeah, in Polymore, yes. Okay, please uh, download uh, if you want. Yes, under the topic five, yes, you're right. Topic five, okay, under the module materials. Uh, okay, if you do, if you're wondering where, where I got this, your slides are, uh, you can download one. Okay, you can download it at Polymorph. All the materials are available for you. Eh? Okay, so it's in uh, Polymorph. Okay, if you need to go and download, uh, feel free. Eh? 
Okay, I hope none of you are using your mobile phone uh, for this uh, lesson. Uh, it's not quite quite hectic, uh, quite a, quite a, uh, to be online uh, like this. Uh, you eat up your data plan, you know. So I hope you are all on uh, your broadband. Uh, okay, preferably at home. Uh, I hope you are at home using your broadband and to connect. If not, don't, try not to use data plan to do this uh, virtual online lesson. Uh, because your data plan is quite, quite, a, quite a big problem. Eh. Okay. For your for your data, okay. Now, okay, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so the difference between a sensor and a transducer is that okay, uh, a sensor basically just converts the measurement. Uh, the measurement means is the the non electrical quantity. Like just now, I already explained, right? Uh, we are let's say you will measure temperature. Okay, the temperature is measured in degrees Celsius, right? For example, uh, So if you use a sensor, the sensor basically will will help you to measure that value, right? And convert it, okay? Okay, but then in order to have a more complete system, right? You need a transducer, eh? okay? So basically, a transducer is an energy conversion. Eh? So basically, it will convert, okay? It will convert, uh, any of you use 4 to 20 milliamp sensor, eh? by the way? Any of you here before? You know what's 4 to 20 milliamp? Anybody? In your course of work, uh, do you, any of you use uh, 4 to 20 milliamp uh, transducer? Anyone? Uh, maybe if you know, uh, yes, uh, okay, some of you, Mr. Go, right? Okay, some of you, uh, pressure, okay, Cla Mr. Claren, thank you, and eh? thanks for your response, some of you. Uh, some of you use this type of transducer at your workplace, so is you may suddenly find that, hey, this one suddenly rings a bell, eh? Okay, now some of the, sen uh, Transducer use the 4 to 20 milliamp output current. Eh? So they use current output. Eh? So basically, a transducer basically will convert all these things eh? from your degree, your temperature degree Celsius uh, into uh, output that is electrical in nature. And maybe output is a current. Eh? Right? Now, 4 to 20, I tell you, in the industry, for myself, we use a lot. Okay, for uh, industry application. We also do several times in the past. Uh, I also got funded projects to do uh, with uh, AVA uh, to uh, do something on so, uh, the uh, what we call solar farm. Eh. Okay, we use uh, outdoor sensors at eh, 4 to 20 million type of sensors. Okay, very common. Eh. All right, so basically, uh, yeah, so generally the idea is this eh. very specifically, yeah, you want to have a system that is built to from the sensor module all the way to the signal processing output. Eh. Okay, it's a whole chain of uh, processors, eh? all right? And yeah, you need to have a transmitter, all right, to transmit the, the, the electrical signal, like the 4 to 20 milliamp output is a, really a transmitter. Eh? Okay, we still got people come in now. Uh. Okay, let me let the person come in. All right, so uh, moving on. Okay, these are just other examples. I think I will not go into detail. Uh, okay, so some of you say, uh, just now, uh, one of uh, your mentioned, Mr. Clarence, uh, okay, pressure measurement, right? Yeah, so you use this kind of typical sensors, okay, where you, uh, you use uh, things like a uh, uh, bridge circuit. Now, I'm not going to discuss now the details, but you need things like uh, maybe 4 to 20 million output. Eh? Okay, uh, then it's mentioned here. All right, ideal for long distance. Uh, the main idea of using 4 to 20 milliamp is that it is very good for uh, industrial application uh, and you need to lay long cables, uh, long signal cables. Eh? Okay, because it's very good for uh, uh, immunity, uh, especially in noise. Eh? Okay, very good and very uh, robust system. Eh? All right. Now, uh, two things you need to take note. Uh, this one is quite important. Uh, maybe you want to take note. Eh? Okay, this one I typically you will see if you look at, if you all know where to look up your, you know, past, uh, past year exam papers, uh, you all know where to find them, right? This can be found from our school library, eh? the soft copy. Eh? You can download past exam papers uh, through our Nian library, uh, the database, the e-database. Then you can retrieve last of the past few semesters, past exam papers. Eh? Uh, then you all can see eh, what type of question typically we ask. Ah, okay? uh, one of the nice questions we typically like to ask ah, is to ask you what is the difference. When we do 
sensor classification, right? And we, we generally ask you, hey, what's the difference between passive sensor and active sensor? Eh? Uh, okay, so this one very common. Eh? You can look up the past paper, you will see some of these questions. Uh, the, although it's theory, la, not a lot of marks, but you, you surface out as some of the questions that we will test the student. Eh? Okay, so what's the difference uh, between passive and uh, active sensor? Okay, now maybe to start off, very quickly, uh, passive sensors are sensors that don't really require uh, uh, so-called uh, input stimulus or, or input power to power up the sensor. Okay, by itself, uh, the sensor has uh, a ability to do the like, conversion, uh, so-called. Like for example, piezoelectric. If you're not sure if you know this, piezoelectric can uh, measure a, a small amount of pressure, right? If you have this piezoelectric sensor, small amount of pressure you act on it, right? It will output very low intensity uh, electrical signal. So you measure those uh, uh, values, eh, okay, from this piezoelectric. Okay, so uh, maybe typically, if you ask me where can we find piezoelectric sensors, right? It could be found probably in those uh, ECG machines, uh, if you all know what, what they are. No, the one that measures the heart rate. Uh, those are maybe piezoelectric sensors and they, they, they put it there. So they basically measure vibration. Okay, or maybe thermocouple. Uh, like, uh, and if you know what's thermocouple, right? Uh, thermocouple basically is a, is a temperature uh, measurement probe. Uh, okay, that is passive in nature. Okay, so, uh, so anything that re doesn't really require external uh, stimulus or uh, electrical power to power up the sensor, it is uh, passive in nature. Whereas, uh, if you ask me, okay, what is active, uh, active uh, circuit or active? Active means you require external power to power up the device. Okay, you need some kind of uh, excitation signal to excite the sensor before it can be used to work properly. Okay, so uh, example maybe like thermistor, okay, another type of sensor. All right, so just to let you uh, take note, uh, there's uh, this type of sensor. Now, are there are other types of sensor. These are the industrial type of sensors. Maybe some of you already have been using one of these things, they're very common to you, eh, right? So you have contact versus the non-contact type, analog versus the digital type, right? and so on, right? Now, if some of you are working in factory areas, let's say, for example, you are doing some automation, uh, okay? So you, this type of sensor is very common to you. If you use PLCs, right? Programmable logic controller, this type of sensor usually is, uh, you know, part of the things that, that you will be always be using, eh, right? To control certain things, eh? right? You will use this type of sensors. Okay, now there are other, there are many other types of, uh, sensors are okay but in the interest of time okay let's take a look all right there are many different types of sensors in the market eh? all right so you have uh, things like uh, temperature sensor uh, chemical sensors electrical other types of electromechanical uh, force pressure sensor and position sensor optical sensor machine vision just now i give an example of the flying drone right the camera itself is a very powerful sensor eh? Okay, maybe let's do a short, small kahoot, uh, shall we? So after much talking, right? Okay, let me try to see. Uh, okay, I'm going to try. Uh, okay, y'all can... Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, hold on a minute. Uh. Uh, I will let you see. But the only problem, I, I don't think I can play the audio. Uh. I'm still trying. Uh. Okay, I'm going to let y'all do this. Y'all know what's kahoot? Uh? Any of you? So, so good time to take attendance uh, in case some of you don't try to leave halfway. Uh, haha. Okay, you know what's Kahoot? It's a, uh, yeah, okay, we will play this game. Uh. Okay, y'all can, uh, y'all don't know, right? Okay, what is Kahoot? Eh? Okay, I'm going to, hold on, I'll show you. Okay, so what I need you to do, uh, okay, wait, uh, I'll tell you what to do. Eh. Okay. All right. 
Okay, wait, ah, wait, wait. Uh, okay. All right, so, uh, okay, can you open a web browser? Open a web browser. There's a small little quiz to, for everybody. Eh? Okay, uh, type. Okay, now I want you all to put your name, uh, guys. Okay, wait, wait. Please put in your your proper name, uh, don't give me, uh, my name is Candy, uh, I don't know who is that, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, the link, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. Okay. Hey, can you all hear the audio? Uh? No, uh? okay, that's the problem. Eh? <laughs> hey, you all know what to do? Uh? Okay, come. Let's wait for a while. Eh? You all, uh, okay, only a few, only eight players, only you cannot be eh? We got more than that. Uh? Okay, slowly, uh, you can play on the phone, uh. I'm going to share it. We need to team, uh, team what? No need individual. Okay, some more. Please sign up. Uh. Please enter the pin code. Enter the pin code. Six nine six four.
Okay, we have to wait a while. Uh, I still um, I still cannot figure out the audio part. Uh. It's not no sound. Uh. Quite boring. Uh. Okay, let's wait a while. Hey, only 10 players. I uh. a bit few so few. Where are the rest? There are 28 of you, 27 in your class. They are waiting for someone to join in. I wait a while. Huh? I can't go in. Okay. Hey, give me your name, right? Don't put your funny. Uh, this side. Sorry, I have to kick you out. Right? Put your name, please. Hey. Put your name. No name. Okay, now come. We don't want to hang along too long. Uh, I share the audio already. I, I share the screenshot in WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, only 14. Uh, eh. Quickly, I'm eh. going to start the game already. The... Eh, where? How to join? Uh? I uh, I, I, uh, instructions. Mm -hmm. And share the audio already. Uh. Oh, how you all share way. Okay, but anyway. Okay, 13 player. Eh. Hey, how about the rest? Uh? It's either your or not at your desk. Eh. Maybe. Okay, thank you. So you don't know to join? Eh? Ah, don't know how to join. Uh. Uh, Hey, you use, okay, you use your phone. Eh? I use my phone now. Eh? Go ah, inside you, and they don't know to join. Eh? Plus, ah, you, 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 uh, uh, you have to use the game mode play Kahoot, right? Then they will ask you to enter the game pin. Game pin? Yeah, you need to put this game pin on your phone. You can play on your phone. Eh? Can or not? We try. Uh, if, if not, then we will... Ah, play Kahoot, thank you. Eh. Follow the link there. Use your handphone ah, easier. Use your handphone, type in this one, then you enter the game pin, then you put your name. Ah, okay, more coming in. Thank you very much. Okay, 
Okay, good, good. Thank you. Mr. Yo, thank you. Eh. I cannot see select classic or no so. huh? I only can okay. see I'm in. That's all. 1, 2, 4, 6, 9, 6, 4. I'm already in eh. Yeah, yeah. If you are in, I think, I think you need to there. press start, then we can do the stuff. Huh? So oh, when I, I play, already. when okay. no, when I press start, you start the game already. I think. Yeah, I think so. Now oh, we wait. are just waiting to start. Yeah, yeah, we are waiting to start. Okay, quickly, quickly, come. Ja yo, ja yo, eh, quick, quick. You know, few more minutes. Eighteen ready. Okay. okay, good, good, good. Hey, Ken. Okay, anybody else? Okay. How oh, are uh, the rest? Can we start? It is nine oh five already. Come. Can we start or how? I don't know what happened to the rest. I the rest. Uh, Iker, are you there or not? If, uh, hey, don't give me this name, ah. Uh. Sorry, I. Who is this person? You go what? 97. No, sorry, I kick you out. Please put your name, I. Please put your name. Put your real name. Okay, one more minute, we start. Uh. No, we cannot wait forever. Eh. One more minute, I count down uh, to start. Okay, thank you, Hari Kumar. Okay, Mr. Hiker, thank you. Okay, 20 already. Okay, I don't know about the rest already. We will start soon. Eh? Ah, okay, Mr. Yasin, thank you. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, ah, never mind. I know it's the uh, first time, maybe it's the uh, first experience for your playing Kahoot. Eh? Ah, okay, never mind. Something fun also to learn. Any more? Shall we start? 21 ready. We start. Uh. I think we start already. Otherwise, too long. Eh? Too long to wait. Okay, uh, we proceed. Uh. Okay, uh, we start. Eh? Okay, come. Okay, are you ready? So you all need to respond uh, to the question. Uh, okay, what is a sensor? Okay, you follow the color. Okay, look at your phone. Eh. Uh, okay, you answer on your phone. Answer on your phone. Press the color, the red or the blue. Okay, so the answer is no, eight, eight person got it right. Yeah, eight correct. Yeah. Okay, what happened to the rest? Okay. Uh, device used to detect and measure physical quantity. All right. So that is the answer, correct answer. Huh? Okay, so uh, what is this show me? Okay, let's move on. Wow, Mr. Go. 
very good huh? so you must play a lot of kahoot eh? okay the rest behind okay mr round mr clarence first time there, sir first time ah? okay good Chia yo, ah. very good very good okay next question are we ready yes sir i just i haven't choose and finish already ah uh, <laughs> okay now my first okay let's try one more ah. you all ready okay i'll ah. get your hands ready yeah. Fast, fastest <laughs> finger ah. okay ready we go ah. okay go Fifteen seconds, fourteen seconds. Okay, temperature sensor. Okay, most of you got it correct, lah. Okay, very good. But two persons say humidity sensor, and another two say uh, sound sensor. Okay, heating mask. The, uh, the keyword is heating, right? Okay, so yeah, so be temperature. Huh? Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's see what's the score now. Wow, Mr. Go. Very good, huh? Mr. Clarence catching up. Huh? Okay, Hiker, Mr. Hiker. Uh, Yasin. Wow, okay, Shafi. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, huh? ready for the next one? Okay, I think total only 10 questions. Uh. Okay, second one now, we go to the next one. Uh. Okay, ready? We go now. It's a bit unfair for me. Eh. Huh? Never mind lah, it's just, uh, just for fun. Lah, eh. No, because just... I cannot see the answer. I <laughs> huh? cannot see the answer. <laughs> I must come phone, to eh. your side, see what question, what answer. Oh. oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. okay you have Never to mind, look... just a game only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, you know, I know what to do, I'll hide the this one. Lah. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, now I'll hide it. Sorry, sorry. Okay, one more. Huh? Okay, let's see who is the winner this time. Just for fun, huh? just for fun, eh. okay. Okay, Mr. Clarence. Oh, Chia Yo, very good. Mr. Hiker, okay, moving up the chain. Okay, Farizan, okay, the fifth place, not bad. Okay, our next question, uh, now is better already. We get better and better. Uh. Okay, street light, what, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I still cannot see. Uh. <laughs> street light, uh, street light. Light oh, sensor, okay. motion, temperature, uh, pressure. John, John, John. Huh? I think you need to open in the Zoom to see the question. After that, you go back to the Kahoot to choose the answer. Answer from your phone. Eh? I use website. Oh, I can use see website. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, not bad. 13 of you got it right. Okay, not bad. Light sensor, yes, correct. It's also, for example, uh, nowadays our HDB corridor, uh, those uh, common corridor area lighting, uh, they got the sensor, right? Uh, okay, but some of them they use the motion uh, but some of them the street light they use the light sensor eh, to detect whether is it dark or dim eh. okay not bad okay let's see wow mr shafi wow getting up up the number the the winning winning table very good okay mr yo also uh, coming out okay good uh. okay next question uh. Okay, this one how? What do you think? General knowledge, ah? Moisture uh, in the air or in the soil. Be careful, ah. Uh. This one tricky, eh? Ah, humidity sensor, very good. Some of you may fall into the trap of saying it's a pH sensor, right? But pH is a different thing now. Huh? Okay, so it's humidity center to measure moisture. Eh? Alright, so let's see. Wow, Mr. Hiker, congratulations. Wow, up the chain, up the ladder already, very good. Okay, Mr. Yo catching up. Okay, next one, huh? quickly, eh? quickly. Four more to go. After the quiz, we will call it a day already. Which sensor is used by this one to prosecute? Ah, okay.
pretty obvious, huh? This one. Okay, very good. 17 of you got it correct. Okay, this one is pretty, this one is quite a obvious one. Okay, good. Okay, Mr. Hiker still got the fastest finger. Thank congratulations. We'll move on, huh? Okay, we we'll move on. Eh? Okay, pH sensor, yes, correct. This one you can measure acidity and alkalinity. Yeah? Okay, pH sensor, right? I think uh, in the few earlier few session, Mr. Chan got do some uh, sensor thing with you all also, right? I believe in his few of his questions, right? So I think, yeah, okay, good. Let's go on. Oh, Mr. Hiker still going strong. Very good. Okay, the rest all keep keep trying, ah, uh, going up. Okay, let's go on to the eight question. Finishing ready, come. Okay, six seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay, you're right. Okay, so the answer is what? Okay, you all get it right. Huh? Pressure sensor, all right. Actually, to be more correct, huh, the one on the road, huh, the traffic light is inductive sensor. If you all see uh, on, the, on the floor of the road, huh, there's marking, right? Uh, those are inductive coils. Eh? Okay, just to share. Okay, Zoo. Wow, okay. Now you are number one already, champion. Okay, until to the final end, uh, we don't know who will win. Uh. Okay, let's go on to the last two questions. Eh. Okay, automatic door is motion sensor. Lah, oh. I think that one is quite clear. Eh. All right, just giving you some idea, some flavor uh, so that you are uh, kind of aware of what the, there are different types of sensors out there. All right, I thought it's a quite a fun game uh, to, and something to just to for fun also. Uh. Okay, yeah, Zoo. Wow, very good. Okay, last question. Okay, this one tricky. Uh. You all don't know this one. This one you all have to guess. Eh. This one is a wild guess. I think most of you may not know. Just wild guess. Ah, okay. This sensor, wow, okay, actually not bad. Uh. Your 10 of you, well, maybe I'm not sure if it's a wild guess, but your 10 of you got it right. It's for radiation. Eh. Okay, this uh, this is very difficult to pronounce thing. Uh. Uh, Geiger Muller or something. Okay, this sensor is used for detection of radiation. Eh? Okay, so the winner is a hiker. Oh. Too bad I cannot play the sound. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Uh, I see, okay. Okay, thank you very much for participating in this small uh, little game. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for your participation. I'm going to close this one.
Okay, uh, we have wow. Okay, thank you for participation in this. Uh, okay, I think basically, okay, that's all I have for this evening. Uh. Okay, uh, this one I think I will not go on anymore. Okay, any questions uh, from all of you? Can I stop my screen share? I think I will stop it here, it's 9.20. Okay, so far, yeah. Okay, I think I will stop here in case you all have anything you all can ask me. But I think other than that, please remember to do your attendance poll. Okay, I will uh, end here for today and uh, we will see you when in two weeks time uh, when the term starts. Uh. So in the meantime, take good care, stay safe, okay, and stay healthy and also enjoy a bit of your term break. Uh. Okay, thank you very much. Uh. I think that's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. You all can go. Okay, right, okay, right, right. Thanks. Thank uh. you, hey, remember, remember to do the Mr. Chan's quiz. Uh. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. What, what was Mr. Chang's quiz? Ah? Ah, Mr. Chang, I think he gave you all some quiz. Ah. I don't know, is it? Huh? No, uh, no quiz. Ah. I think the one he, the quiz he was referring is to give us uh, at the back of the sem. The last, uh, yeah. Oh, oh is it? Last ah? few lessons, ah, he got referred. Ah, oh, so no, the, quiz, no quiz during the term break? Ah? Uh, sure. <laughs> huh? But just now, yeah, uh, just now in his class, I saw something. In, maybe, maybe you can ask the other group. Uh. Like, for your leg, sorry. Your uh, leg view, I need to do finish. Uh. Uh, which, which group are you? Uh? Sorry. Eh. Who is talking? Uh? Sorry. Uh, P1. Uh. P1, uh. you all can do until leg 4, uh, I think. Is it? Uh? Then left five need to do or not? Left five, left five. If you holiday, if unless you say you want to do early la, you can always do any time you want. Eh. If you want to do early, you can do early. If you want to wait until the the term start, then also can. Up to you. Because I finish already, this ask you. Ah, okay. Those of you who finish, try to finish ah. But some of you haven't start la. Because there right, uh, the quiz there right ah, uh, uh, thirty to seven. Oh, okay. Actually, it's the, the date not correct. Uh. It's supposed to be after the term break. Uh. Oh, okay, or the okay. lab fight. Uh. So, still got a lot of time to do it. Uh. Don't worry. You understand. Oh, okay. okay uh. Thank you. Can, can. Thank you. Uh. Bye, bye. Can, uh, good night. Good night. Uh, Miss Chu, got any question or not? Huh? Uh, any question? No, uh, no, okay, no, uh. no. Thank you. Okay, mm. uh, okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye, bye. Good night. Okay. So, sir, uh, sorry, uh, correction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you, this lesson is mostly on sensors, right? That's all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the, the calculation part is at the back. Uh. All right. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry. You can read out first. Uh. Okay. okay. Calculation okay. is at the back. Yeah. Okay. Until then, okay. Until <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank so, you, sir. When, when school start back? Uh? Uh, school in two weeks' time. Uh. So that means you can uh, say 30, 30th, uh, 30th of June. Uh. Wait, I take my calendar. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, school start. Uh. Okay. Uh, school start. Now is wet. Today is the 9th, right? Yeah, today is the 9th. So you got yeah, 30th, yes. So 30th, start. Yeah, okay. 30th, correct. Okay, see you on 30th. Yeah, okay, see you on 30th uh, for lecture. Thank you. Start. Yes, Mr. Kuma. Uh, yes, still online. Okay, still online. Uh. Wait, our class still online. Eh. Until further notice, eh. we still cannot go back to the campus yet. Okay, sir. thank you. Okay, uh. thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Good night. Okay, good night. Okay, thank you, sir. Good night. Okay, uh, good night. Good night. Thank you.